Good morning. I hope you're doing fine. I'm doing great. I'm glad to see we're into another month. April is springtime outside. High temperature today going to be 76. Sun shining bright. Garden growing. Ukulele playing. Everything is <laughs> just wonderful. Somebody asked me yesterday, I think, do you make any money on the ukuleles you sell on Facebook? And I said, well, I lose a little money sometimes and I gain a little money sometimes, but pretty much I break even on the ukulele sales. I sell ukuleles because it's a way of getting in touch with my community, having a little social interaction, relating to people, sharing my hobby with others, and hopefully getting a subscriber or two on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know how many of my friends that I've sold ukuleles to have actually subscribed to my channel. They're not uh, so far regular visitors or commenters. But still, it's a lot of fun and I never know what's going to happen next. And it seems like when people come, they always want to buy the ukuleles that are mine. They don't want to go to the ones that are on sale. They grab the Aklot banjo ukulele, which I sold um, yesterday, Sunday, or was it Saturday? Saturday. I was taking a nap after lunch, as I do most every day. Rather than go to bed, I was sitting up on the couch with a blanket over my head. <laughs> That's how I take a nap. If I'm sitting up and taking a nap, I don't sleep for an hour. I usually sleep for 10 or 15 minutes. And I was in that position when Ginger said, there's somebody coming in the driveway. Are you expecting anybody? Well, nobody ever comes for me unless they're coming for a ukulele. And she woke me up. And I started thinking. I said, there was somebody who got in touch at 2 a.m. this morning saying they wanted to know my address and how to get to where I lived. And I said, I gave her my address and said, let me know what time to expect you so I can make sure to be here ready for you. They never did. <laughs> they just came. And I say, this is who came. They had a very nice van. It took them quite a while to get into our steep sloped driveway. And when they uh, parked the car, a whole bunch of people came out. And I was looking, <laughs> I was looking out the window and here comes one little kid, two little kids, three little kids, the bigger kids, adults, fam I mean, it looked like several families. These were Latin American folk and they had, were, saying, is it okay if we come in? And I went to the door, I had my little mask on. They didn't have masks on. So I kind of took it off. And I said, wait right here, I'll go get the ukuleles. Because I could not imagine all these people in my house roaming around in my ukulele collection. Especially little kids. I don't uh, have too many dealings with little kids anymore. But then I said, well, they're going to have to see all the ukuleles. How do I know even what they want? So I went back and said, come on in. <laughs> and the little kids were hugging me and they were going up to Ginger and they wanted to hug her and they wanted her to pick her up. They're the sweetest people I've ever seen in my life, I must say. And it turned out there was apparently a father, a mother, a older teenage boy, I suppose. I'm not exactly sure all the ages. I was pretty much overwhelmed <laughs> by this experience. 
But there was a, apparently a, a teenage girl, maybe 16 or so, and there was a bunch of little children, little kids. It was a little boy and I had two or three little girls. And all of a sudden they were running amok in my music room. <laughs> but they weren't, they were not amok. They couldn't keep their hands off the ukuleles and I can't blame them, nobody can. And so I was trying to put the little Ola, uh, shiny, glossy, beautiful color ones in the little kids' hands, but they went for, uh, they went for Tiger Flame, and they went for, uh, I have a watermelon soprano, and everybody, everybody had a ukulele in their hand. I had no idea what they came for. If, were they going to buy one, or were they going to buy eight, or what was what was happening here? So finally, I determined that the uh, the teenage girl would be my contact here. She was the one who's most fluent in Spanish and English, and I have taken Spanish for years. <laughs> I could not say hola. <laughs> I was so flummoxed and blown away by what was going on, but I was also charmed. And I, love, I do love little kids. And the adults were as friendly as they could be. And uh, Daddy picks up my Calamango baritone ukulele, my favorite one. I said, no, 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 not for sale. <laughs> Bless his heart. Every ukulele he picked up, I said, no, 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 not for sale. But we, uh, we showed them the ukuleles, and I told them about them. And come to find out, the teenage girl was a sharp shopper. She ended up getting some very good ukuleles. She passed over the ones that weren't so great. And she ended up buying Aklot Soprano and... Uh, Aklot Soprano, and she went to that one very quickly. She bought a Camise Tiger Flame tenor, and I think that was going to be her. She selected that one very quickly. They scooped up the Camise Solid Spruce Top, and uh, I don't. That was going to be the older son's ukulele. They got my Tiger Flame soprano off the wall <laughs> that was not for sale but they really loved that one so I let it go and then as a kind of a toss in I had a glary tenor ukulele and they scooped that up so they spent quite a while with me and uh, I played old MacDonald had a farm for, for them and it was just a oh, delightful time a delightful wonderful a heartwarming experience altogether, and uh, I hope they come back sometime. I hope I can give them some ukulele lessons. They don't live very close to us, but not that far away either. So hopefully uh, they will see my uh, beginner ukulele videos online and may stop back again sometime. But that was amazing. That's why I sell ukuleles on Facebook because I love to meet people and talk about ukuleles, and I don't have much chance to do that any other way. So that is my little social thing. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I'm glad that I'm able to buy ukuleles smartly on eBay and elsewhere, and then I can sell them cheaply to people who come by and want them. So there. <laughs> Do I make a profit? Yes, I make a profit on every sale, but it's not necessarily monetarily. Thanks for watching.